According to reports, it's believed that she had originally wanted to wear a somewhat untraditional flower crown. This would have echoed her mother Carol Middleton, who wore flowers in her hair when she married Kate's father Michael in 1980. On the day the Duchess of Cambridge opted for the Cartier Halo tiara, which was loaned to her by the Queen and signified the time-honoured custom of wearing something borrowed. It was made in 1936 and bought by the Queen's father, then the Duke of York, for the Queen Mother, then the Duchess of York. It was purchased three weeks before the Duke succeeded his brother, King Edward VIII, who abdicated the throne, as King George VI. The tiara was given to the Queen, then Princess Elizabeth, by her mother on her 18th birthday. Since wearing the Queen's tiara on her wedding day, Kate has been given the honour of being allowed to wear some gorgeous jewellery held in Her Majesty's collection on countless occasions. But it's not just her bond with the Queen that has seen her have her pick of the jewels. Kate is also said to have struck up a friendship with Angela Kelly, Her Majesty's personal dresser, who oversees her jewellery collection. Royal expert Katie Nichol previously told Grazia these good relationships help when it comes to borrowing jewellery. A palace source told Katie, Kate gets the pick of the jewels for big occasions and the Queen is happy to open up her jewellery box. Kate has been clever to befriend Angela Kelly, who is in charge of the Queen's personal jewellery collection and oversees the loans. Generally, Kate is allowed to borrow whatever she fancies. Kate Middleton and Prince William celebrated their 11th wedding anniversary on Friday, having tied the knot on April 29, 2011. They are now full-time working members of the royal family and parents of three, Prince George, 8, Princess Charlotte, 6, and Prince Louis, 4.